Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video. So guys, today we are going to talk about Analyze Expense, which was announced by AWS. So recently AWS has launched a specialized support for the automated processing of invoices and receipts, and it is called Analyze Expense. So basically Analyze Expense is the part of the Amazon TextTrack service, and it is specially designed to work with invoices, receipts, and expense related similar documents. And that will basically enable the small or medium businesses or enterprises to process receipts and invoices at scale as a part of their any existing process or any new process that they want to have in place within their organization. Correct. So basically on top of that, it uses machine learning to understand the context of invoices and receipts. So it can efficiently extract information from receipts that have different structures without any additional templates or any additional configuration. So it's just the uh, simple API call that you pass on the image and it will return the response in the form of JSON. So it's that straightforward. So here we don't need to have any additional templates or any sort of configuration. Okay. So apart from that, at this point of time, analyze expense does not support asynchronous operations and A to I integration. So maybe that is something that AWS can have in place in future releases. So now let's have a look at which fields analyze expense supports and is able to detect at this point in time. So these are the list of fields that analyze expense is able to detect in the form of key value pair from the given document. So for example, vendor name, receiver address, total, subtotal, due date, product information, right? So these are the list of fields that is currently supported by analyze expense API, and it will return this information in the form of key value pair that you can extract from the uh, response that it returns. But apart from these fields, it can also smartly detect other relevant information too. So we will have a look at it in some time. Now uh, moving along, uh, now we are going to have a look at which elements it returns as a part of the response. And basically these fields will be the part of those elements. So these are the list of elements that it will return for the given document. So that is expense uh, index. So it basically depicts number of receipts invoice in a page. Then we have type. So that's the standard name for the individual fields. Then we have label detection and value detection. So that's going to be the key value pair, uh, right? So label would be the fields that we just talked about and its corresponding value would be the part of the value detection. Then we have pages. Uh, so it basically depicts the number of pages in the document in case you have passed the multi-page document. Then the page number, it will depict the page number on which the information is detected. Then we have ge geometry. So it will basically give us the bounding box information of the fields and its values. Then we have confidence score. So it will uh, depict the confidence score of the detected information. And finally, we have the expense row. So that is the purchase line item row or the product information, right? So these are the elements that would be returned as a part of the response in the form of JSON by Analyze Expense API. Correct. So now we have a fair idea that uh, what it is able to detect and what we will get as a part of the response. But the most important part is the pricing. So let's have a look at its pricing and it's going to cost you $10 per thousand pages for the first 1 million pages per month. And if it goes beyond 1 million pages in a month, then it will be reduced to $8 per month, right? So that's the pricing. I think it's reasonable. Correct. So now moving along. Uh, it's a quick look. So now uh, let's have a quick look at the service in the console. So let me navigate to AWS management console and we will navigate to Amazon text tract and we will say try Amazon text tract. But here, as you can see, we don't see any option for the analyze expense. It's because right now uh, in this region, the analyze expense is not released, I think. So we need to change the region to maybe uh, Asia Pacific Singapore. And here you would be able to see the option for analyze document as well as the analyze expense. Correct. So now here, as you can see on the left panel, uh, the document type that we have is form. And that's the reason we have analyze expense option visible. But from this drop down, we are going to select the receipt just to have a look. So this receipt is of the grocery store that is whole food market. Right. And now if we look at the right panel, then analyze expense is enabled. And here we have the information. So within summary fields, we have the vendor name, subtotal, uh, tax, net sales, total, 
sold items, visa, paid, right? So this vendor name, subtotal, tax, and total are the part of the fields that we just talked about. So these are the fields that it is able to detect. But apart from these fields, it is also able to return the net sales, sold items, visa, paid, and such information, right? In the form of key value pair. And then if we look at the line item fields, so here it will give us the product item information with its price. So here we don't have the unit price uh, mentioned over here. So that's the reason here we don't see on the right side as a part of the extraction. Correct. Now let's have a look at the invoice. So here we have the dummy invoice and let's have a look at the extraction part. So within summary fields, we are able to see the fields that has been detected or identified by analyze expense. That is vendor name, invoice receipt ID, receipt date, receiver address. But apart from the fields that we just talked about, we have other information like phone number, PO box number, right? And then we have customer service number. So these are the information that it basically returns as a part of the key value pair. Now let's have a look at the line item fields. So here we have the product information, then the quantity and the unit price and the amount. So these are the line items that it detects. So it's kind of the product information. So this was the basically high level overview of how analyze expense looks like and what it is for. So guys, I think uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. And basically in the next video, we will have a look at the practical implementation of this. So we will have kind of Lambda function in place and we will set some trigger and we will see how we can extract the information and probably we will try out few more receipts and we will see how it works. So guys, uh, that's all for this video. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.